Welcome to another GAK9 training video, folks. Today we're going to be emphasizing a couple of issues on a tactical track. This particular trail was uh, just over 400 meters long. Uh, it's a simulated suspect, and we're using simunition rounds for real life exercises. Um, in this particular situation, we're going to be dealing with a high find. Uh, it creates a very interesting alert picture. And then also a fatal funnel. And what I mean by a fatal funnel is where our team is getting drawn into a very narrow confine where our suspect has advantage and terrain features uh, and the fact that he's also undercover and concealment. Come back, just come back. <laughs> She's just checking us. She's just back on it. I think there's a turn. She's I think we're working a turn right now. Right? Just open. Hey, uh, hold on. She's still working it. Track goes this way. He went right. She's starting to go head up, though. Hey, she's. She looks like she's starting to air scent. Yeah, she's hot. She's hot. He's calling hot. Yeah, she's hot. He's calling hot. Come right. Hey, I think it's a live pool too. Yeah. Okay, so what's your degree of head checks? I would say total degrees, not just single. For me, I'm looking at uh, probably ten and ten to one right now. Okay, ten to one. I would say more like 11 to 3 or 4. Because she keeps kicking. Okay, we're right, so we're right at the 1 o'clock. She's the, She wants to go this way. Okay, so we really just got a crazy good far alert that turned into a near alert with some good directionals. Uh, basically, the dog is pointing towards this ridge line to the north of the map, uh, and it's an alert in such a way that the handler realizes that it's a live alert, which means that a person is nearby, our subject is close. Um, so we really have to make sure that we take some good tactical considerations uh, into consideration at this point. We really don't have a choice. We're in relative open, considering we have a ridge line uh, to the north of us, we have a ridge line to the east, and a depression right where the dog is at. And this really makes a tough situation from uh, an officer safety standpoint, we have to try to control some of this high ground. So up in front above us here, we should have a flanker before we move forward. And behind us on the ridge line and the tree line, we should also have a flanker. And at this point, we really need to move into a new type of formation. And uh, what my recommendation is, is what we call the Y formation. And this is where we have a flanker on either side of the dog with a uh, interval distance between the dog and the flankers proportionate to our terrain features. And because we're in an open area, the flanker here uh, to our west should be up at a distance of at least 50 meters away from the dog. The high ground to the right, that flanker could, it really is, is irrelevant, just needs to be under con cover and concealment and moving online with the dog. Yeah, she hasn't come back to me, so we're on it. Okay. Yeah, she's on it. Are you holding or? I'm holding. Okay. I'm telling. I'm letting you know what we got, and then you're letting you make the decision. I'm the team leader. Who's the team leader? We're, not, so you're in a, I'm We're everybody else. Okay. From a tactical perspective, in this bowl is a huge. 
advantage. You need to get some guys on some high ground. I would push my flanks left and right. High left, go high. Fuck me, she's hot. Turn, stay high on that right side. Yeah, she's like, <laughs> can you go ahead and there and go out probably another 30 meters in front of you, Boyd, can you go right, go to your left? Hey, we're, we're, we're going to start hanging out too long just for her. Oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm just letting you know. Yeah. You want me to go? Okay. Are we are we set high on left right? Yeah. Okay. Slide to the right. Oh, he yeah, actually might be. They notice how your set picture just kind of just yeah. right here. How do you think that happened? Well, either because it's go he either laid a dead like a loss of track, or it's fully. By the rim of your bowl, right here in front of you. All right. That's why she's trying to get to the top of it. So one of the things that we're dealing with right here with a suspect at a higher elevation is that our scent cone, when it dropped down into the depression, uh, was only hitting really one spot. And and you know when we have a person on ground level with the dog, that scent cone stays very consistent. But in this situation, because the suspect is higher. You know, at one point he was 25 meters above the dog. The scent cone is coming down on an angle, and once the dog gets outside of that pool that initially landed in the depression that he was alerting on so heavily, he's going to get into a area of negative scent or no more air scent. It just seems to disappear, and the dog's going to have no other choice but to try to pick up that track again or to try to find that scent pool once again. In this situation, the dog opts to get back on the track. So at this point, the canine is headed back towards the track and at the base of the depression, getting relatively close to the subject. And really what we need to do is have our flankers on line with the dog moving in the same general direction, but taking advantage of the high ground. That's the only real protection we're going to have in this type of an alert. But because the dog lost lots of its intensity and a lot of its alert behavior, because we're outside of that scent cone as it was hitting inside the depression, um, everybody became a little bit complacent, um, not understanding that this was a high find and what was actually occurring inside the depression. So this is one of the reasons why we have to kind of train for this stuff, and it's important to get hit with it in a double blind condition. As soon as she gets back to the top, watch that set picture come back. It's going to come back hard. Let's clear that manhole, man. We got a creek with a bunch of dead space. Right. 
Now we really have to be concerned. We had this incredible alert at the beginning of the depression that dissipated once we got underneath the scent cone. But the team really has to be aware that that live alert was really, really close and not be complacent about it. And more importantly, we're getting into this fatal funnel here where we're going to be below the ridge line, getting funneled into a major, major defile uh, without a lot of cover and concealment. It's a really, really bad position. So before moving forward, we have to own our terrain features and the flankers need to move ahead of the dog on high ground. And before the dog even moves anywhere near this depression, clear this area. As a matter of fact, I don't even think it would be a good idea to go into this depression at all with the dog or any of the team. It's just too dangerous considering that alert that we had. Right side, <laughs> yeah. Well, if I had some shoes that held the ground. We're gonna clear this drain. We also got this pocket right in front of me. Don our. Right. Once we clear this drain, web, we cross this creek. I want you to go up high. Yeah. This is a real fatal funnel, so if you make that move, but make it quick or go low. You want to push forward? Yeah, still. But we have no wind down here, so I don't know if it's just dispersing or what. Yeah, she's still pulling. Right up here, about 10 yards, looks like there's a little bridge that goes across the creek. All right. You see that? I I do not. Yeah, if you're trying to get up there, it looks like you can do a little crossing right up there if you have to. Uh, we clear to move? Go ahead. Yeah. Right. Go ahead and jump over. Let me get in the position. 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 Hold on. Is that a tripwire? What is that? Oh, it's a web. It's a spider web. See it? Oh, it's a web. Okay, yeah, spider web. What? Nothing, you're good. Clear. We got a huge manhole right here. Hindsight's always 2020, and it's very easy to backseat quarterback any type of tactical situation after the fact. Uh, but the bottom line here is is that you have to learn from experience and you have to set up real life scenarios that are difficult to manage, if not almost impossible. And you have to do these types of things over and over again. This is one of those cases where not only should we have not gone into this fatal funnel, we should have stayed out on the perimeter, managed that proximity alert better, and then set up our containment. Um, but in order to come up with a plan like that, in other words, come up with that solution, you have to experience the consequences of a bad decision to begin with. The dog team is fantastic. The tactical, tactical team is great too. They've just never experienced a condition such as this. This is why training is so important.